Hi. Today, we're going to look at Postgres SQL for MySQL DBAs. My name is Dave Stokes. I'm a technology evangelist, and I'm going to talk you through what you need to do to be able to come up with a working example of Postgres. I'm assuming you're a MySQL DBA, like I've been for a long time, and you kind of curious about Postgres. You hear a lot of stuff about it, but you don't really uh, know how to set it up out of the box. So we're going to get through that today. We're going to show you what you need to be able to work in copy up and running with a test database. It's very, very oddly similar to the uh, Sequila database that you're used to from the MySQL role. And from there, in future videos, we'll talk about how the, the basics of using uh, Postgres. Now, all the examples I'm making here are done with a VirtualBox installation of Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Uh, if you're using a different operating system, uh, things might have to be uh, changed to accommodate what you're doing. But let's get started. Now, I want to warn you, Postgres is different, but not that much different. It's just enough different to make you uh, a little hesitant, but don't worry about that. And after a little bit of an introduction and playing with it, I think you just might like it. So what we're going to do in this presentation is we're going to install Percona release tool. We're going to install Percona Postgres, Post Postgres SQL. That's hard to say in an afternoon. We're going to actually run that Postgres and we're going to upload an example database. And at the end conclusion of the slideshow, there's actually a video of all that going on. So if you want to see it done firsthand, it will be there. So first thing is we're going to use the Ubuntu Package Manager Manager to use the Percona release tool. Now, this release tool can also be used to install other software like Percona's PMM or Percona's distribution of MySQL, MongoDB, or other tools. Now, the steps for the release tool are very simple. Uh, first, after you build your, your fresh install of Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, uh, run sudo apt update. That goes out there and make sure that all the package manager is pointing in the right directions. From there, we need to install some packages. So we're going to use sudo app install minus y for yes, wget, gnu pg2, privacy guard, curl, and the lsb release. From there, we go out to the Percona repo and get the Percona release Debian file. Then we install that using dpackage minus i. And then once again, we run sudo app update. If you've installed MySQL from a package manager, you are aware of how this works. So now comes the installation of Postgres. Real simple. Once again, uh, sudo run for Kona release, and we're going to tell it to set up epg-14. This is for Postgres SQL 14. Then we use app install. Percona Postgres 14. And then we can check to see that it's actually installed and running. Now, the test database, which is uh, also a, a DVD rental, although I think the original secure one was a videotape rental. Uh, believe it or not, boys and girls, people actually I used to go fine. to stores to get movies, just couldn't stream them off the internet. Okay, the next thing we need to do is Go out to Postgres tutorial, Postgres SQL tutorial.com to get that rental database. Uh, this is uh, very much what you're used to with Sequila. There are 15 tables. Uh, there's tables for actors, films, categories, uh, rental stuff, customer address, country. And once again, you can download all this from Postgres tutorial.com, uh, WP content uploads, and that's the latest version. So, Download that and unzip it, throw it in your favorite directory for uh, getting stuff, usually something like temp. Okay, now we set up the database. This is uh, very simple. Once again, run sudo. This time we're going to run sudo to run su to become Postgres. So now we're the Postgres user, which was created during all the previous steps. And now for the first time, you're gonna to get to actually talk to a Postgres database. Type in PSQL, this is the command line client program. And you notice that it has the prompt Postgres equals 
uh, hashtag or Octothorpe. And from here, we're going to create database DVD rental. Uh, we exit out of that. And then we run PG underscore restore minus capital U for user, the Postgres username. Uh, the the uh, database we're going to throw this in, we just created this up here, DVD rental. And then we point it to where we put the tar file. This could be slash temp slash DVD rental at tar, uh, wherever you have that. And right now, the video is going to run. That will show you all that stuff being done. So if you want to see the video, hang on. So what we're going to do now is install the Kona release tool. Then we're going to install Verkona's release of Postgres. Then we're going to run Postgres and set up a Sequila kind of ish example database. So if you're a MySQL DBA who's curious about Postgres, this will give you all that you need to start exploring Postgres. So first step is that we have to run sudo app update. I am doing all this on a VirtualBox installation of Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. I have installed it and run the first set of updates. Now I've run uh, app update. Now I have to run sudo app install minus y. I can install a couple of packages, wget. GNU PG2, GNU Privacy Guard, curl, and LSB release. So if you've installed MySQL using a package manager, you're going to find this all very similar. Now we have to do wget. You go out to repo dot percona dot com to the app directory for the percona dot release latest dot generic for all the deb package. Now we have to install that package. sudo dpkg minus install. You see this all runs fairly quickly. And once again, we have to do app update to make sure that we're hitting the Procona repository and pulling up that we need. And when this finishes, our next step is to actually install Postgres. So sudo Arcona release. And we're going to set up for the type in ppg.14. Helps if you spell setup correctly. That takes just a moment to go out to the repos and pull out all the pieces I need. So sudo app install minus y for yes. Kona dot postgres. Not 14. Oh, it has to be Postgres SQL. So, about that. And this takes a moment to go up and unpack everything and get Postgres running. If, like I said before, if you've run an installation of MySQL uh, using a package manager before on either RPM or deb based system, this will all look very, very familiar. And now we can double check that things are running. sudo systemctl status and postgres service. And 
There it is, active. I'm following that, so. Okay, now we're 90% of the way there. What we have to do is um, download the DVD rental database. I mentioned that in the show notes. I won't do that. We'll do that. And I made a copy of the tar file and put it up in the temp directory. So what we're going to do is we're going to type sudo su minus postgres. See the line has changed from percona to postgres. Okay, the first time running pro running the command on time. So it's called psql. And you notice it tells us uh, the version of Postgres and uh, what we're actually running on. And what we need to do is create the database. Create database DVD rental semicolon. So we've created our database. Now we get to ins install the or upload the uh, or restore the data for our test database. So it's pg underscore restore my user minus you, minus you for user and Postgres. This time it doesn't have the QL on the end. Uh, the database you're, we're using is that DVD rental that we just installed. And that's all in slash temp slash Oh, I thought I had it there. Let me open up another window. Ah, there we go. The slash temp. And that's it. We now have installed the Percona release tool. We've installed Postgres, and we've now installed the rental example database. Tune in next time, and we'll actually start playing with the database. So now you've seen me walk you through the installation of the Percona tool, Postgres itself, and the sample database. And next time, we'll go into actually getting in there and working with the data. Thank you for watching.